I'm an old hip hop junkie, so I, you know, you know that song, Black Sheep, that you could get with this, you could get with that, you could get with this, or you could get with that, you could get with this, or you could get with that, but you should get with this, cause this is, where's, man, I love it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Wow. That worked. That worked. Look, we got one candidate that embraces diversity in our country, the daughter of immigrants. Yes. And you have one candidate that says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Ooh. You could get with this, or you could get with that. All right, but I'm saying you got, I only got a little bit of time. <laughs> you got one that wants to fix the education system in Puerto Rico and fix the energy system, the grid in Puerto Rico, and then the other one who throws paper towels into a crowd after a hurricane. We haven't forgotten. We haven't forgotten. So you could get with this, or you could get with that. Because that is whack, that's right. Look, the contrast, the contrast between the two candidates cannot be greater. Not only is he proud of overturning the road decision and limiting, limiting women from making their own reproductive health care decisions, he also wants to destroy public institutions. Look at Project 2025. Que locura! Que locura! Yo, they used to do it quietly. Now they have a playbook for destroying our country. You can even print it. <laughs> Our foundation as a country is under attack by Trump. Le voy a decir a él como, como dice Maluma, te quiero, te quiero, te quiero, pero bien lejos. <laughs> Look, instead of focusing on Project 2025, let's get loud about our project in 2024, and that's to elect Kamala Harris as the president Yay! of the United States. That's our job together. Yes. That's our job together. Yes. Look, I, I, I love, I said before, La Identidad Latina for me is huge. It kept me grounded and I realized that you can move forward and you don't have to change your stripes. I grew up to a lot of music from, from the island, old school music, you know, musica típica. Yes. And there was this one artist who, who always got me like, like pumped up, you know? And then as, as I was uh, coming up in education, I, I would always listen to this music to get me pumped up. And there was one artist, Andre Jimenez. Oh. All right, you know where I'm going. <laughs> I heard you. Don't go there. He, yeah, I will, I will go there. He, he did a song, it was like a battle cry for Boricuas to wake up. Y la canción se llamaba Coño Despierta Boricua. Anybody know that song? Well, the message is a little bit different. You know, the content of the song was that, but we, Latinos, we need to follow that message. So my message for Latinos who have so much to lose if we sit this one out, and so much to gain if we get in the game, my message to Latinos is, coño, despierta, Latino. Despierta, Latino. Let's wake up. Let's get to work. And together, we'll send Kamala and Tim to the White House, yeah. elect Democrats yeah. up and down the aisle, and we're gonna prove that America's best days still lie ahead of us. Yeah.